and welcome everyone to another fantastic episode of the Super Asa Beat Show. Where Nick speaks about? like a dick. Whatever. Whatever. Hosted by Mr. Burns. Mr. Burns. Excellent. Excellent. Wait, who's Mr. Burns? You? I guess you. No, you're the bald one. <laughs> Got you the there. Get up, get up close. Let's see the liver spots. Uh, hey, cunt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we have been in a little bit of a pre-show chat here talking about our gains and losses, etc. of this week. And uh, do we want to start with that? Yeah, we as well. Okay. Yeah, let's fucking <clears throat> get it out of the way. Get it out of the way. First of all... Uh, first of all, let's do a couple of quick shout outs here. Before we get into that, I uh, do have to shout out, of course, the lovely Jules Mom of Apes for being a moderator and, and an excellent one at that, Whoa. and also posting the Fat Boys Club uh, group on Facebook. The link is in chat right now if you guys want to check that out. Um, and you want to join us for our adventures and, uh, you know, share. Recipes, tips, what have you, anything that you want to share on there is is all good in our book. Um, and as far as the the actual shout-outs go, I guess I'll read them this week. We've got Dire Thing in chat. Hello, Sheboygan Smooth Transitions. We've got JLVC. We've got Mike's Max. We've got a Graham Spears. We've got a Ronster. Hello to Jennyson Designs. We've got a Darth Vapor. We have ourselves a Steve Dillagaff Porter. He's just constantly waving. <laughs> We've got... Uh, wave, wave. Hello. Everyone, everyone wave. No, oh, what is that from? If you can name that movie, you get ten cool points. We've got a bunny. Vapor Bunny is in chat. Hello, bunny. We've got Dion78. Of course, the lovely Jules Mama Vapes. John Cole is here. We've got who else? Who else? Nasty coils and what's up? We've got Bronco Monk. What in tarnation is going on here? I don't know. It looks like a vape show. We've got Seamus Wright, 37. We've got Robert Darkings. Good evening. Mark H. We've got Pud Puffs. What is a Pud? We've got Lee Armitage. I hope I'm Armitage. Pronounced. Armitage. I'm so cocky, bloke. What's up? Ah, uh, we've got... <laughs> Sorry, Lee. He's the evil wizard of uh, guitaring, so go check him out. He's got his own channel on oh. YouTube. Go check him out. There you go. And uh, Wired Talk with Big G. And Lisa Simpson. Hey, it's Lisa Simpson. Speaking of Mr. Burns. Anyways. That's Lee's partner. <laughs> nice one. So, Full Moon, the late night vape show. Everyone getting in their last minute shout outs. Andy Summerfield, good evening. Hello, pops. And Andy literally shaved every hair off his body. He's he looks like a seal. A baby, a baby seal. Okay. <laughs> so why did he shave all the hair off his body? You you wanted to look younger. Of all the files. Is that all you need to do? <laughs> uh, Joe's got the razor out. <laughs> he looks like Charlie more Brown. than a razor, mate. <laughs> Shut up, you. <laughs> now he shaved all the air off. He just looks like someone out of a nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Man just looks like a one-legged chicken. Like a giblet. Oh my God! So and if it's cold, <laughs> oh no, oh no, it's no, not a no, turtle. no. no. <laughs> If I could say his name, I'd have said it, but you know that Blade Runner? Boom. Uh, so. What? Go on, yeah. then. Let's get get it over with early so we don't have to talk about it for half an hour. Who gained? Who lost? Who stayed the same? Who didn't weigh themselves? I gained. I lost. I I gained I gained a bit like just under a pound, but that's because I I had my dinner before I weighed myself. So I'm gonna have a poo and do it again. Yeah, you need a redo, and also take your fucking shoes off before you weigh yourself. Yeah, and a quick tip: see before you take a photograph, make sure you get fucking clothes on. 
<laughs> or you have to use a red dot to cover out your winkle. <laughs> Who was that? Who was that? Darth Vapor. Darth Vapor. Oh, it, it, that was that quality. Was it is. <laughs> but you're doing well, man. That, was <laughs> a, well, yeah. that red dot was, a, you know, giving yourself a little bit of credit there. Let's be honest. Come well, on. Well, he's, he's, he's cutting out the poo particles as well. Oh, oh God. Mats, what? Oh, gosh. I mean, at least he's doing it right. Aiden gets on there wearing a full winter jacket and everything, so. <laughs> yeah, that, you know what? It's all about stones in there and all sorts. So, you know, each week I'm going to start taking bits off. <laughs> it's a bit like dieting with Buckaroo. You need to read chat. Darth has put up poo particles right now. Lisa Spock still, still eating it. Darth, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. So I put on just over half a pound. But that's, that's right. like nothing, though. Half but, a pound? But in all fairness, I did make the bangingest curried goat uh, earlier in the week. And it was that good with my rice and peas that I went back for double helpings. Like, so, you know. That's, it's, it's a lot, though. And I had two that's beers. The, the double and helping. Laura didn't cook one day. We had takeaway. Oh. Oh, Ooh. where is she? Is she in fault. chat? Hold on. No, I never said that. That was Stevie that said that. It wasn't me. But no, I'm not she... angry at myself for doing it. I know why I've put on. Oh, she already so... said, don't blame me for takeaway. Oh, well, you didn't cook, but... Well, you, know, you could have cooked. I cooked another day. I mean, it's fucking difference. Bollocks, you. Whose side are you on here? Fucking badgers takeaways. Lapping coming. <laughs> Who, whose side are you on? What do you mean? You can cook. You have arms and legs, don't you? Get up and cook. I fucking did. Make some mac and cheese. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, I'll... I had chips. <clears throat> I had pit of bread. I'm not going to lie. It was fucking nice. Still there, full moon. The thing is, though, it could have been worse. You could have, put, you could have put on a hell of a lot more than a pound. Yep. Oh, yeah. I'm still oh, under yeah. so like my original. Yeah. You realize if you're holding your mod in your hand, that's half a pound right there. Well, I did try and put my phone down because normally I take a picture. I put my phone down to see if it make a difference. It never did. Yeah, that's about <laughs> three to four ounces, maybe. <laughs> Laura, Jeez. I cook seven days a week. He cooked one day and thinks he's Gordon fucking Ramsay. <laughs> yes, but I am. He's but going like, he's doing like the flourishes. He's like flipping stuff, you know, doing a salt bay, like a little sprinkle. But, no. <laughs> so... We we normally get so we normally get a Caribbean like takeaway rather than making it at home, and my kids said it was better than any of the takeaways they've ever had. So I'm quite pleased with that. Oh, that's cool. Good. It's really nice that you've taught your kids to lie. What's <laughs> <laughs> them a fiver every time too? Yeah, exactly. How much did you? You know, our assholes. <laughs> Oh, we're supposed to be it's motivating each little... other. God, we're the worst. Like, we're supposed to be motivating each other here. And I see a bunch of, like, recipes going on. And it's all positive energy in the in the group. And then we come on the show and just rip the shit out of each other like nothing. It, 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 it is joking apart. I think each other. I just feel like I'm being victimized there. So there's no <laughs> each other about it. It comes. <laughs> well, who's next then? Who's next? I lost five pound. Five? Did you really? Well done, man. Down to 18, great. Fucking well done. Nice uh, one. I'm happy with that one. Nice. What did you do different? Did you, like, change Absolutely anything? fuck all. <laughs> Have you not cut down your portion sizes or all like that? Or I've, I'm not a big eater anyway. I don't have huge portions. Did you poo more than normal this week? <laughs> no. Uh -huh. Use the, uh, the little laxative there. Right in the tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well I'm, done, I've man. never had an appetite where I can eat Mount Kilimanjaro on a plate. Yeah, Laura did really well as well, didn't she, this week? Was it three pound loss? All right, it's not bad, Laura. Nice. No, yeah, she's no, a part of a, she's she's part of the, the fat boy group. Fuck off, you <laughs> lot. <laughs> Wait, so if Laura. No, well done, that. babes. No, seriously. No. And Darth, anybody who is actually following this and joining along with us, well done to all of you. Even if you've gained a little bit, don't worry about it. Uh, there's a lot, like you lot said, there's a lot of recipes going in there. There's a lot of people putting a lot of effort in. So well done to everybody. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Mike got rid of all his wind before Wayne and Joel said. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's hot air. So normally yeah, but surely if I have on. all that hot air inside of me, 
it should actually make me lighter because it's lifting me up off the exactly, scales. Exactly. Nah, it's all the poo particles that came out of it. Oh, the poo particles. God damn it, with your poo particles. <laughs> Just you might have up with the fucking Hindenburg, couldn't you? <laughs> Does it all the humanity. <laughs> Doesn't methane actually hang low? Ooh, it is a heavy gas, yeah. I've, I've, ne mm. I've never heard of methane doing the sweet chariots. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, they smell like they've been behind him, though. <laughs> <laughs> the shorticles, oh, I love it. It's actually, got to the stage where, it's actually got to the stage now where I'm actually contemplating buying myself another mountain bike. Ooh. Fucking hell. All right. Wind propelled. <laughs> Cheaper than battery powered bikes. <laughs> Oh, uh, actually if you light it it'd be rocket propelled so yeah see, <laughs> see laura said after, it's, it's, also his bum it go into an engine and we lighten it, it and the trumpet <laughs> yeah so laura <laughs> said Earth after big after, after, after big losses you normally like hold water for a little while because your buddy's like figuring out what to do Thank you, Vapor. Thank you very much, buddy. Hey, Viking. Hey, John. Hey, thank George. you very much. We'll do the hey, weekly. I've been looking at mountain bikes, and I'm, I don't know if you remember when we were kids, Jay, but there was two brands, Muddy Fox and uh, what, Trek. Yeah. Well, that were actually quite expensive brands, weren't they? Cheap as anything now. Now I can get a fucking Muddy Fox for 139 quid, and I can get a Trek for 85 quid. Yeah. Yeah, but, but it depends. What? It's all down to spec again, though, isn't it? Because you can spec. I mean, going, going in to buy the lights of a mountain bike these days, it's like going in to buy a bloody car. You can spec it to the help. Yeah. I know, I know my sister's boyfriend uh, builds mountain bikes for a living. Disc brakes, important. Yeah. The track ones come with disc brakes. Yeah. On my bike, I've got a nice one out there. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck it. All you, all you have to do is just <laughs> touch it and you're fucking over the handlebars. Yeah. Like, literally, you can be going flat out and just use your fingers and just gently apply the pressure and just stop dead. It's amazing. See, my, my favourite bike I've ever owned was one of the old Rally Grifters. Do you remember them? Yeah, of course. Some fucking knob in the middle. With, no, oh, no, 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 no. That was the chopper. Oh, that was chopper. That's Rally the, Grifter the, was the, the BMX guy. version. With, yeah, the, uh, did the, it have fat, fat wheels on it? It was yeah, the, the fat twist, wheels the and it had the pedal it. back brake. Yeah. And when, the chain snap, and, and when the chain snap for changing your gears, you should just pull the little chain out and stick a pin in it. Don't know, it never had gears on the grifter. Yeah, it did. No, it didn't. The grifter was like a BMX. BMX, but fucking no, the weighed a no, ton. The, grifter, the, the original grifter had three speed gears. Mine never. Yeah, the original but grifter. The had... chopper had it three gears, didn't it? Because they used yeah, to have the, the middle. The chopper did. Yeah, yeah. so did the grifter. No, mine never. So did the grifter, the grifter, because I can remember it was my, it was my cousin had one. Um, I'm talking about 1980. Yeah. And it had three speed gears. Oh, you must and, have was, and it used to go, the, the cable used to come down because it was a twist grip to change the gears on it. Okay. okay. No, he, he must have had the yuppie version. Oh, the cable, oh, I mean, the cable used to snap, used to put this little, 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 little chain in the back, the back I, spindle. I just, yeah. Oh, yeah, because that's how it changed gear through the gear, spindle yeah. bit. That bit. Yeah. The grifter bike did have gears. Mine never. Well, it was the small, the, it was. Oh, the, you, you had the uh, thingy version. The, was it not the. Was it not the striker that had the back pedal brake? The Rally Grifter. There's a Mark One, Mark Two. Uh, Mark One uh, featured three speed. <laughs> What's Aiden doing? Mark Two. He's got that. He's got that butt plug. <sighs> and he can't get off of it. Uh. Doesn't say anything about the Mark II being a, the three speed, so I don't know about that. I'll listen to my son put the chair up. Got <laughs> uh, no strides on. Oh, 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 okay, wait. Rally BMX bike is different, though. Um, uh, Big G saying that, are you thinking about the drifter, Mike? No, it was definitely a grifter. Yeah. So you want up on the roof then? No. Up on the roof. <laughs> well, anyways, <laughs> we're, we're talking about a bike that was made, you know, in the eighties. So that was yeah, you know, it was basically a BMX with big fat fuck off wheels, no 30, gears, and you used to pedal backwards to stop it. Thirty plus years ago. <laughs> 
If but anybody it, has got one of them left, let us know in chat. Yeah, right? Like, give it to Mike. That'd be worth a fortune now, I reckon. You would, yeah. You think? Well, yeah. the original choppers are going for like two and a half grand a piece. Yeah. What? Holy crap. Without the flag. <laughs> what about they the were little, talking bags. Mark little had one bell? Ding, 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 ding. I think they're bells. I, I had a, it was a rally arena. I had this, the, the racing bike with the five speed gears, and I felt like a total fanny because all my mates were having the because that's when the Griffith came out. That's when they were, you know the BMX or the start of the BMX came out, and they're all going off road. And I'm trying to fucking go off road with that racing thing. Like with a racer, you get yeah, tire, tire like that, you like. <laughs> and your gear levers was down on the crossbar. And you have to lean down to fucking yeah. change them. I got, I got my first BMX in 1983. It's funny you should say that, actually, because we all had um, BMXs, and then one of my pals, he had a racer. Oh, yeah, look, I've got a nice racing bike. So we went over to the BMX track. No <laughs> word of a lie. <laughs> Listen, no word of a lie. He's like, oh, I ain't going to work. I said, it is. Go on, go over that <laughs> No! <laughs> you did not. Yeah, as he went over the first jump, he <laughs> came down, <laughs> bang wheel, folded yeah. it. <laughs> oh, you're such a Bradley. jerk. He got a bollocking. Oh, the my guy, God. Yeah. Oh, Vic, Vic says the Grifter original didn't have gears. The Grifter XL had a three-stage hub differential taken from the Rally Commando. Ah, good, good, good. As we see, Vic is just an expert in all fields. Any question on, you have, ask Vic. It was on the design team. <laughs> yeah. He actually, yeah, 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 he, Stonehenge. Vic actually invented the first bicycle, so. Well, <laughs> at square wheels. <laughs> Oh, yeah, and a five five ten dripped it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh shit. You have to blow your own air in them. <laughs> you imagine that though, because you think about um, the, the uh, racer bike wheels. They're about that thick, weren't they? they were... <laughs> so oh, we have we have Jay gaining a half a pound, which he'll lose when he, next time he takes a dump. Damn straight. We have Mike losing five. We have Aiden, what is it, gaining one? Would you yeah, do? roughly, just under one. Ah, okay, a pound. Again, take your shoes off, take your belt off, un, like, take your pants off if you want to. Take your mix out your pocket. <laughs> take, yeah, take the stones out. You don't need the, the winter jacket or the scarf or anything to weigh yourself next time. Um, Steve, how'd you do? I, I lost a pound and gained two puppies. Oh wait, did you shit puppies? What? Fucking <laughs> felt like it. <laughs> so go on, tell us about it. What? The puppies, the puppies, not the <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, okay. bad boys. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah. Leah had two Leah had two pups, a little boy, a boy and a girl uh, earlier as of this morning. No. Oh. So Jules and I are absolutely shattered. I, I'm, I'm, I've got to take my hat off to Jules. She was, um, she was, she was in there. She was, she was like the, the doggy midwife last night. She was, hand me this, hand me that, hand me the next thing, clamping the, the umbilical cord, cutting it, doing all the snot and that out them noses and all this kind of stuff, rubbing them dry. And yeah, it was, it was a sight to behold. Actually, it's the first time I've ever kind of been involved in doing anything like that. But it was nice. Um, but she had this kind of a, a little bit worried because we were told there was three pups. And only two turned up, and by five o'clock, half past five this morning, a third pup hadn't made hadn't made an appearance. So we thought, right, bugger it, it must only have been the two, right enough. Um, so I crawled into bed this morning at quarter to six and get back up at nine. Jules went to bed in the afternoon for a, for forty winks, and Leah decided to bring the pups into the bed with her. So Jules never got asleep. She's she's like she'll, she'll be sitting down on the couch watching Savs like that. <laughs> <laughs> if you hear loud snoring, we know who's so, who's. Yeah, who's I would love to. Them. I'd love to bring them up and show them on camera, but Leah would go nuts. I think. Yeah, mm. she's yeah, going to take them away. Nah, give, it, give, give her some time. I'm yeah. sure a couple of weeks they'll they'll be all right. Yeah, we've got plenty of time to look at the puppies. Yeah, thank you. But puppies. These bad boys. Make sure you post oh. a picture somewhere if you haven't already. Yeah, tats. <laughs> yeah we'll do. We'll stick them up. Yeah. Uh, uh, not, in the, not in the fat boys club because some people might think they're part of the menu <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. 
Uh, but yeah, no, nasty, no. nasty coil said, uh, uh, Nick shits kittens. Uh, obviously, watch your uh, stream last week, then, or was he playing with us last week? Either oh that or, or last night, because I nearly shit a kitten when I uh was playing Doom Eternal. That was and we've all come to the conclusion that you playing video games must be bad for your health. I'll tell you what, you'd want the kitten to come out backwards, wouldn't you? <laughs> Why are you thinking of the logistics of No, this? in fact, you'd want it to come out frontwards, not backwards, because it'd hold on, wouldn't it? Oh! Oh, can you imagine that on your Sphinx Ooh. day? Sphinx day? <laughs> <laughs> Ouch. Please oh, no, please no yeah. photoshops of that. Oh, yeah. boy. Photoshops of Nick shitting a kitten. Nope. No, no. Oh my God, it's got to be done. No, no, no. It's like, I, I really feel like we need to have a new segment on this show. And I really yeah. feel like it should be something like, don't Google it, because... Nick shitting kittens. Yeah, it looked like a rabbi with fucking mothballs. <laughs> that just puts a new slant on Pussy Galore, doesn't it? Oh, <laughs> God. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Could be a few po poo particles. Nine things you should never search for on Google, according to Reddit. Oh, God. Sharticles. <laughs> oh, my God. So, so have anybody got anything new in? Oh, oh vapey wise Because oh, I'm God. sure this is a vape show. I'm waiting like on the wire rice launcher at the moment. <laughs> I, I've changed juices. What, you on? I changed juices, not flavours. Oh, oh, I have changed flavor actually. Wait, that's was a that different cheesy one. That's, puffs? That's uh, Moorish puffs. Oh. Woo! Well, is there a Union puffs. Jack on that? On this side? Yeah. See, there was some that came out. Apparently, the company split or something. And one went off with Moorish puffs, and it, it, some of them didn't have it on. And so, because somebody sent me some out, and I did a review for him. And they were saying it wasn't the original company. Oh, I don't know. I'm not getting into them politics. It's all part of ultimate juice, isn't it? I'm not getting into them apples. We don't talk about drama on this show. Come on now. Uh, I think. Kiss my backside. <laughs> hey, Nick. Also, kiss my backside. <laughs> Fuck you now. Just, just wait. Come on. Come on. Let it roll in. <laughs> Evening, oh, so, uh, oh, that OK orange is really nice. This one's the um, peach orange flavor. Apricot. That's quite nice. What language is on that label? Uh, I think that's just underneath it. Bit of, bit of Chinese-ish. Chinese-ish? Uh, uh, fuck you, Andy. I wonder if that... What, what does that Got mean? Got that on the Valerian 2, which is very, very cloudy. We've then got the uh, Favo stick. In there, I've got some, um, got salts. I got that from um, Flat Cap's wife. They, they sent it out, their new shop, which is Vaping Styles. Style. Oh, check then them, I've got the Nautilus Prime X. And in there, I've got some Cornish liquid with Riptide, which is orange, lemon, and grapefruit. Flute? Fruit. Grapefruit. <laughs> you play it like a flute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me, Stevie, Stevie's the posh one because me and uh, Aiden played the recorder. Why <laughs> Stevie did actually play the flute? <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, when you've seen that many bloody orange bands in Glasgow, you know what a flute looks like. What? In, one did... time in band camp. See, that's just, why I played it that way. You shoved the flute up your ass. ass. <laughs> All rumors about band camp are true. I'm just going to put that out there. Nick's okay, also then, been to okay, spill the beans. You can't, it, Nick, Nick's also been to band camp. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? All the one time at band camp, camp, Nick okay. shoved a drum set up his ass. <laughs> Did you <laughs> that was my own rhythm section for the next week. Uh, you ever seen one man band walking around? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fuck you on the car. I, 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 I managed to uh, get the kettle drums up there. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Dude, that's the noise when fat people walk around, really. That's what. <laughs> Oh, man. No, it's, norm it's normally... <laughs> yeah, that's the one, isn't it? 
<laughs> Lee says what goes off in band camp stays in band camp. That's true. It's much like Vegas. <laughs> what happens? Really nice. That. I've got that in something else. Red apple slices from Juice and Power. Um, the only thing I got in that's newer is the Berserker 2. I haven't set it up yet, though. And I'm not Ooh. doing it right now because I don't feel like it. <laughs> build! But we want to build! There's a lot of news on my end with the channel happenings because I've decided instead of rebranding my channel, I'm going to start a new channel. And once that is released, then I will share that everywhere so you guys can go follow it. Uh, the new channel is going to be called DVTV, and it's going to be just other videos. It's going to be my whole just Dropbox for anything besides vaping. So I'm going to have the vaping channel, I'm going to do recorded videos on it again, and then I'm going to have my everything else kind of page. So that's what's going on with me. I've been very busy, busy, busy um, with logo design and, you know, just preparing for the this like transitional period. But I will be back and, uh, you know, I'm actually kind of excited to get back into the, the whole vaping aspect of it because I feel like I've been out of the game for so long and I've actually got a few companies still hitting me up about reviews. So um, supposedly there's a, something on the horizon from Watofo. Us? Is it the new coil? It is. Because there's the, the new coil that, that's coming out where you can rebuild it. It's a little bit like how the nest look. You know what I mean? It's, it's that sort of thing where you can put your legs in and make it yourself. Uh, let's check my email. Watofo. This is SMRT pod kit and SMRT coil series. So uh, Flat Cat put something up about it. It was like a, a rebuildable coil. Did you say, Steve? Yeah, that yeah. Two thousand milliamp hour <clears> built in <throat> battery. Ooh. Uh, right, right. it's interchangeable with Vupu P and P and Vapor SO GTX coils. Yeah, so that's the, the, the coil that's coming with it, you can actually rebuild the coil. Damn. Which I think's a cooking idea. So, Obviously it's gonna sub the coil cells up, but Yeah. yeah no well, more. yeah, but is it though? Because people are tend to be lazy, in my opinion. Yeah, that's that's what I was going to say. And, and <laughs> Including I think, I myself. Think when you get to a certain age as well, because everything's that bloody small, I mean, I struggle with RBA decks, small RBA decks. It really yeah. pissed me off because <laughs> I don't have the dexterity in my fingers either cause, because of arthritis. And I'm sitting with my range finders on, my glasses on, I've got a big fucking magnifying thing and I still can't see jack shit. And I think to try and build some of those coils would be like, oh, fuck that. That's, that's just the old eyes, Steve. Yeah, no. But you, no, I'm that, say, I'm says Mike, so, sort of same as you with the arthritis. I don't know about you as well. You, you get that like sort of like stutter with your fingers, and yeah. it, you end up crushing the coil. Yeah, it's yeah. that shake and bang, shake and back, shake and back. That's <laughs> withdrawals, <laughs> Ivan. That's the DTs, mate. Okay, and what is that? <laughs> it's not October. What? What's what? The shake, shake and back. back. Oh, do you not know it? You do the shake and back and put the freshness back. Do the shake and back and put the freshness back. Because I've been watching uh, Red Dwarf, and they, they mentioned that, and I had no idea what it was. And I'm like, I bet that's really funny. <laughs> it's, it's just carpet freshener. Uh, yeah, powder that yeah, you sprinkle on your carpet okay, in, the, okay. in the 80s, so, and then you leave it and then over it up. So you know uh, you know, Holly, the like the hologram guy? In the intro yeah. bit, he in the intro bit he's like, "Oh, oh dude, we we've got yeah, we've got like thirty thousand years left of food and drink, but we're almost out of shaking back." And I had no yeah. idea what it was, and I'm like, "Now I get it, and now it's funny, yay! All right, I get references." Um, but yeah, and we're been, on the dog's milk. Only twenty odd years <laughs> yeah. too late. We're on the dog's milk. Oh. Well, why well, is the only dog's milk left? Because no one's gonna drink it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I've been watching that, and uh, it's. Free to watch, I guess, for you guys over there. I can't. I have to bootleg it somewhere. But I've got, I've got the full, all the series. Oh man! See yeah. that reminded me, brothers, me, me and Solo back in the eighties when it first came out. That way we, we used to go up and watch it on my telly, and that were all. And before that was Quantum Leap. You used to have Quantum Leap on oh. it on before it. Fucking Ziggy. So you watch you Quantum Leap. Fucking work. <laughs> and then bang on to Red Dwarf. Oh. Quantum Leap. That's nice. I like that show a lot. I used to watch it on. It was on public television, way back, 
And uh, I used to watch that, and they had Monty Python, Faulty Towers. So I used to watch all those shows, and now I'm like kind of going back through them all again. But I'm only on season two, so <laughs> oh, got Fucking a long way to go. <clears throat> but uh, I wanted to tell you guys about my experience this past week after last week's show talking about the uh, pr- the what is it the pro the boost pro I actually went out to try to buy one and as you may or may not know vaping in my state is pretty much illegal so uh, I tried to order one online because we don't carry it in the shop stop showing off you anyways and I tried to order one online, and I tried to have it sent into the shop because I didn't know if they would even ship it to Massachusetts. So I had it sent. I tried to have it sent to the shop, and they, when they validify your identification, you have to like put in, you know, your your personal details and whatnot. And it was like your addresses don't match, so we can't do anything. It was like, oh shit so basically i'm out of luck man i can't even order stuff on my own and it's kind of hitting hitting home now that how like the state of vaping in in mass because you know working in connecticut and having the ability to buy vapor products is is beautiful but when they don't have the vapor products that you want you're screwed so basically people are just relying on anything that we carry so we could sell anything and people pretty much have to buy it which is kind of so unfortunate. So why don't you just get the, the plus from the shop then? I could get the plus from the shop. We carry the plus, the pro. but I want the pro because yeah, it's USB-C. Really. So why not use the company's account and just order a pro on the company and pay the company for it? Well, I have, yeah. to, I have to ask the boss to order it because I don't do the ordering. Get your knee pads out then, son. Because yeah. there's, there's... I, I, I think it's going to get worse as well, isn't it? Obviously, Nick, with when it starts, it's in March when mm-hmm. when you, they're not going to be able to ship for certain people. Yeah, and we're getting bigger tank sizes back. And, well, that's that, and... that was something that the uh, Jared the vaping goat put up uh, on his page during the week there, um, because I mentioned it on the home service on Thursday. Um, it was something that he knows that uh, they tried to order stuff for their vape shop, and uh, it was either UPS or. One, one of the courier services in the States turn around and says, no, can't do it because it's now, vaping's never legal. So we can't ship anything out. Yeah. So as far as the retail side goes, I think all online vape stores are going to have to close. I don't know what else they're going to do unless they can find a courier <laughs> or if there's any shipping service that will actually do it. I mean, the only thing I could think of is DHL, but I thought they only handled like international stuff. I don't know about domestically. Well, uh, 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 Dai thing saying that um, since UPS changed their policy, uh, UPS, FedEx, and DHL have added more restrictions as well. The fucking bastards! But the thing is, they'll still ship it for wholesale orders, which is strange. Create like, yourself a little company, then. Yeah. Right. Cost nothing. Out of the back of your, you know. I was listening to Mike Vapes the other day, and Mike was saying about it. It is going to bring a black market, I think, to the US. Definitely. And it it sort of reminds me. It's going to be dangerous. It's going to be dangerous. It sort of reminds me of the time of, you know, when they started putting the cigarette prices up around in in the UK, and then all of a sudden the snide cigarettes hit the market and the snide tobacco, and I think that caused a lot more deaths. The pipe pages are on the way. So, uh, what do you what do you do? You guys know how much a, a packet of, of cigarettes cost now? I'm fourteen sure quid, now. Fourteen, fourteen quid, I'm maybe more. Thirteen, fourteen pound a pack now. Yeah, wow. yeah. yeah I'm sure sign. someone. I'm sure someone told me like a top brand packet of cigarettes is like sixteen, seventeen quid. No, wow. um, one of my mates he still smokes Marlboro, and they're like thirteen pound forty five. Oh, okay. That, that that contributed to to my mum uh, dying that, and it was one of the worst horrible things. You know, obviously because she, the, it wasn't so much to do with the price, but because the amount that they actually smoked, it was like, oh, can you get me them? Yeah, I'll get you, get you some. You know what I mean? Twin, yeah. uh, sorry, pack of two hundred. You could get a sleeve for twenty five quid. Yeah, from so the bootleggers. 
there was supposed to be coming from Spain and wherever, but there wasn't. It was just people doing the scrape ups and 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 that. And and the so the, when my mum passed away, and it was one of the biggest things why my dad um, stopped vape, started vaping and stopped smoking, was the amount of shit that were, they were taking out of her lungs. And, and watching her gasp like a frog to try and get, she literally looked like a frog to try and get the air. And she had like a, it was like a tub about that size and the black shite that were coming into that. And if that, that sort of thing doesn't make people want to come off of stinkies and go to vaping, um, I don't know what would. I, Sit down there watching your mum die of that. You're absolutely terrible. It's something me and Mark will never ever forget in our life. And, it, and it, the reason why my dad's still here at 81 because when my mum passed away 12 years ago, if he'd have carried on smoking how he did, he'd have gone as well. But because he started vaping, I think that's put an extra 20 years, 30 years, out, another 50 years. But do you know what I mean? He's put more time on his life. Mm. The patches never worked. The gum never worked. The You know all the sprays? They never worked. So he tried them all. Both my mum and him tried every single bit. You know, like, like the sprays, like I said, the patches and that. They just never worked. But the vaping... Bang, straight away, he got onto it. Uh, Nautilus tank. He still uses the same Nautilus tanks, Cool Fire 4. He's got his 18 or well, 20 milligram nicotine. Put 15, 15 years on his life, 20 years on his life, easy. I take, I t I've got to take my hat off to, to, to people like your dad who have been smoking for the best part of their life. Yeah. To, it's be, able hard. to, make, to be able to make that switch. I mean, I, I, wish, I wish to God that. Um, Jules and I could have got my dad on to the vaping um, years ago. It, he would possibly, fingers crossed, still be here. But unfortunately, it was it was smoking related diseases that killed him. Um, and I've got guys just just we had mentioned that the price of cigarettes. I've got one guy in work, and I keep saying to him, I says, "Listen, I say, if you want, if you want to try to get off the cigarettes, just let me know. Give me a shout. I say, I'll try. I'll, I'll, I'll try and supply you with as much stuff as I possibly can to get you on the right path." Because there's no point going into some vape shops where you actually talk to somebody over a counter and they haven't got a bloody clue because they don't ask the right questions. And he's paying, he smokes real small. And I've just looked on Morrison's there just now, £13.40 yeah, for yeah. a packet of 20. Embassy filter. Yeah, the Eagle, just the small ones, the blue the blue packet. Sorry, I wasn't laughing, well, used to, I was used laughing to be at a meme that just came in. Oh no. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, um, I think on Aiden's point there, as far as the, um, the, the, you know, real proof that vaping is better than smoking. I think that the simplest way to, to prove that it's better than smoking is the test where you see, you see them pack a, a little like clear vial full of cotton and then yeah. you vape uh, the amount of vapor would vape in um, a month on it. And then the same thing with cigarettes and the tube squeezing like a, the rubber tube connecting the cigarette to the, the vial, like just oozes yeah. tar. All that tar. Yeah, that's your throat, you know, and then your lungs are the cotton and then they, they squeeze the cotton out and it's just black goop. And it's like that is sticking in your lungs, you know, in your lungs. it's the. there's and no they, they way they that's were good for to, you. We mum, they're having to drain that man. And it looks fucking terrible. And if, I think people who smoke, if they actually saw this sort of thing, and there is people out there, don't get me wrong, you know, you always get that old bloke with 16 club who's like, nine, so I've been smoking since I was 11 years old. <laughs> yes, mate, you sound absolutely wonderful for it. Well done. It is. It's, it's, it's one of the things. And do, do you know when they did the tests? That really cheesed me off. They went and got an old cartomizer, you know, with the silicon wicks. And they tried to do exactly the same test as what they did with cigarettes. But obviously, them cartomizer wicks that didn't last that long, did they? Them silicon wicks, they didn't last long. But they carried on doing it more than what you would have. You would have changed it before then because of the flavour. And they went, oh, there's these toxins, there's all this stuff. Well, you change mm. it before that actually happens. Definitely. The tests that they're doing are just silly. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're trying every test to try and debunk it, aren't they? Yeah, that's that's what they're, that's just what they've done. Well, there's actually a report coming out, isn't there? Um, is it next couple of weeks? It's coming down to the end of. Is it is it something to do with the UK that there's a report coming out? Something the next couple of weeks. Study, yeah, the study. Yeah, the studies. And, we, and what we're, what we're talking now? 2006, roughly, when when stuff started coming out. I know it was done before then, but 2006. So we've had plenty. of 
plenty of time of vaping for studies. Unfortunately, all you can do all the studies that you want. The government's only going to listen to the bullshit ones. We our our oh, ban in Massachusetts is based off of a, like nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing to do with vaping with our style vaping. It it's it literally the the mysterious lung illnesses over here were all to do with THC cartridges, but. Governing bodies just for some odd reason can't see the difference between our no, style vaping because they're all one. sat in a circle and they're writing this plan down on the back of a back of a cigarette packet. All right, we should stop this, stop that. Do, do you know we, do you know how much though that that from the US affected the UK? The amount of people I actually mm. had on my on my phone, I actually had, had the statement written out and saved. You know when you like little thing you can press on it. I had it saved because I had to write it. I told you told you it wasn't safe. Told you it wasn't safe. And I was sat down there telling me it was it's nothing to do with proper vaping. If you buy buy e liquid from a, a reputable company and it, and you you're vaping, this is all to do with THC cartridges that have been done on the black market and have suspended in the wrong vape. juice that you're not meant to be fucking vaping. Yeah, you shouldn't be vaping And anyway. rather than someone saying to their parents or to the police like, Oh, sorry, I was smoking uh, vaping weed, which I shouldn't have been, oh it was just them vapes. Yeah, they're bad for you. Mm -hmm. And then when the ones who actually admitted it, they shut them all up. There were, I remember a, a chubbyish lad who were in um, in the hospital, and he was saying, "Look, this was because I bought these cartridges," and that all got shut up. But it, it actually went from the US to here, didn't it? Yeah, it, it affected business big time. Yeah. Anybody that says they didn't, they're lying. It affected all vape-related businesses in the UK. Do you think? Do you think some of this stuff that's happening now over in Europe, it's sort of like a bit of a knee jerk from what's happening in the US? Obviously, you've got Holland now jumping on it, France, Denmark, are now looking to do the flavor bans as well, and then obviously the leak document that's come from the EU itself. Of course, it has. They're probably all in the Biden group or Biden <laughs> club. Ban, ban society, like ban culture. But was, was there not something come out this week from the World Health Organization as well regarding the studies that was done too? Uh, the only thing I see from who was uh, keep your windows open because of what? COVID. What? Yeah. I'm sure there was something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hands, face, space, windows open. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only thing I read from who this week. <laughs> G says all vaping related stuff is going to be no longer labeled as being a tobacco product from March 30th. Go on WHO and FDA. Tell us now that vaping is just as dangerous. I mean, if yeah, that's, eventually that's though, do, do you think maybe in a year's time, or whatever, they, they're going to, people in the US are going to look at how, how ours is working. And and go well. Look, why is one country doing it all? And a number of countries are saying that it's safe, and these people are benefiting from it. They they just your government's just trying to rip you off. Well, my my whole thing was, why when the whole mysterious lung illness thing came about, why did no one else point out like, look at all the other countries, it they're did, not experiencing this. This has to be a domestic do. problem. I think they did do that, and it fell in their peers. They just didn't want to listen. Yeah. Might change there. That's the American government all over. There you go. It's just whoever's got the biggest, deepest pockets, you know? Yeah. Thick as shit and twice as runny. All the, the softest knee pads. And it, it, the thing is, it's costing lives. That's the thing, yeah. It's costing lives. Think, it's costing think... people's lives. All right. And, 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 the, and the worst thing about, sorry to interrupt you, the, the, sorry, the, 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 the shitty bit about it is, is the making money off of people who are Get dying. Off the back of it, yeah. Because that's that's they, why. Because they've sat down there and they've got to pay the money to for their health um, insurance. So they're making money off the people who are dying, who they actually are making to die because they don't get them off the stinkers. But then, also, but then also that, that falls back onto Big Pharma as well. People that do all these cancer pay, uh, treatments and all that shit because they're making money from that because they're, they're on the commission or on the board for, the, for these big pharmaceutical companies. Yeah, so we're, that, we're, you know. Yeah, where it's the opposite here, with people using vaping as a smoking cessation, it's saving the NHS money. Yeah. For how much you know, I I, I think there was a price kicker around or a cost for how much it, treat, it cost to treat a, a cancer patient in the UK. 
So if those cancer, if those numbers are dropping, then that's money the NHS isn't having, isn't having to put out to treat that individual person. So it's, it's it swings and roundabouts. Um, but yeah, the, the 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 states are fucked. To to add a personal touch on this story, <clears throat> um, the shit of kitten out again. No, there's oh, a. Okay. There's a, a woman from Massachusetts that I, I send vape products to. <gasps> and You've just openly admitted that. Technically, that will be completely illegal after, the, what is it, March? So um, I, I'm still planning on doing it. I'm not going to lie. Even if I have to do it on a personal <laughs> level, like just, you know, bring an envelope to the post office and just send it out. Oh. You see Nick, and it, you can just see Nick and Bugs and Malone the musical in it, but the vaping version. Bad, bad Pedal laws. Paid on the car. Pa- 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 anything <laughs> that you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> bad laws need to be broken sometimes, but um, she is elderly, elderly and disabled, and she can't get around. She doesn't have transportation. She doesn't have a cell phone. She doesn't have anything. She doesn't have the internet. So what is she going to do? What? what? I think Stop the puppies are coming. Oh. So, uh, yeah. Basically, I am her lifeline to vaping. If And she still has access to stinkies. Oh. Oh. Oh, my God. That is the tiniest little things. Don't breathe in too fast. Don't fucking drop them. <laughs> Oh, the puppy! Oh, okay, no, they're tiny. Here, hold on. Let me present you. Hold on. Oh, oh what up? Pin. There. Oh, the puppy! You know when they say about dogs looking like their owners? Fuck you! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're just waiting oh, for that me. one. Cheeky bastard! <laughs> but. To, to kind of round out my point here, um, I'm still going to do it. I'm still going to send her juice and coils. Yeah. And well, devices. you're a lifeline, and, like, you know. I'm the only thing that's preventing her uh, or, or keeping her off. Vaping. Yeah, keeping her vaping and keeping her off cigarettes. So anything, I don't okay. care. She is also on a, a fixed income, so she gets a disability check and, and all that. So sometimes she pays late. I don't care. We have a running tab, you know. If you want to pay twenty bucks a week or whatever, it's fine. Just for you, man. Get get what you need. I'll send it out as soon as I can, and just call me when you need something, and I'll send it out because Sweet. I I can't remember. Brilliant, that. But that that's like my own conscience, you know. Yeah, that's like, that's that's you. Yeah. Yeah, it's you all over. That's that's just like yeah. I just and, and, I can't. And, 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 Fingers crossed you can keep doing it for as long as you can. Yeah. Gonna try yeah, but even if it comes to it, he can get around it by saying it's just gifts. It's not, do you know what I mean? I mean... I think I think there, yeah, were, I there were a thing in vape stores years ago where people could bring um, bottles in. You know, like if they'd been sent to whatever and they want their sort of flavour, as long as it wasn't open, that they'd leave them for other people. You know, if they were short on juice. Um, I think it were around the UK probably about three, four years ago. And it, they used to just put them in a little thingy. So if you were short on juice, you could go and pick some up. And you know, like a kind of pay it forward type thing. Yeah. That's a good idea. I mean, I've had that before in the past where, like, you know, someone would not like a flavor and, you know, they bring it back. They they just did one little squeeze out of it. And they're like, I, I'm not going to use it. So if you guys can use it, then, you know, and I just have that. And if someone needs some juice sometime or they don't have any money or whatever, like, or they, you know, buy a kit and they they don't have money for juice or something like that. Um, I'll just be like, yeah, I got this if you want it. You know, it's no good to me here, so. Do you know, like, 20 years ago, maybe more, you would have been able to get away with that. You know, like, actually going there, you know, if you you took a bit out of it and go and put it into a basket and give it to somebody. You know, because people are that sick and twisted nowadays, it's like people couldn't go around oh, Halloween yeah. because they were putting shit in people's candy. Yeah. It, it's like that now, and this is how horrible the world has got. Somebody thinks it's quite funny that the spike it or something like that. Mm. And it's horrible the way the world's turned. So you couldn't really do it that that way anymore. No, you're right. You'd have to be. You'd have to be where it won't open. 
If yeah. someone comes in to me and says, oh, I've got this, I opened it, but I didn't try it. Um, no, nah, you're all right, mate. Uh, I'd just probably take it to humor them, but not yeah. to offend them. I mean, but, nah. that being said, a lot of stuff goes to waste if someone does bring something in because not a lot of people want something that other people have used. And this is mostly before uh, COVID hit, which is, you know, when the when it was more friendly atmosphere. You know, someone brings in a bottle of, of six milligram and it's too harsh for them or something like that. You know, they just did a squeeze out of it. And I'm, I can't resell it, obviously, but I, I'll use that as like a, hey, I have this bottle. It literally has one squeeze out of it if you want it, you know. That, that's great that people, trust, that, that people trust you, though, Nick. That, that, that's the thing of it. As, as, as Jay said, that there's people out there that just, that, you know, there's that bad element that would put anything in it. And it, as it's, down, it's, it's down to the trust issue. I don't trust I don't no fucker when it comes to that. It's got to be sealed you've got to think, I, Obviously, Steve, you're, you're only a little bit older than me. You, you'll know the, the years ago, though, but people would never do stuff like that. It not, it no, they wouldn't. It was not in people's thought process that, I'll tell you what, I will do that. And it, it's something that's come over the last 15 years of, 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 of life of people. Yeah. How, they want to, how they want to treat other people. It's just disgusting. It well, is. Like, it's crazy. We had, like, just going off off topic slightly, like, we had a fucking swimming pool up here that got closed down because cunts was putting razor blades in the fucking slide in the dark bit. Yeah, they were doing and, that. No, and but, kids uh, coming down, all fucking cut legs up, all shredded, like, shredded to ribbons. Just, I mean, so where does somebody's thought process come oh, from like that? Twisted fuckers. I ain't got a fucking clue. Do you remember, remember a, a, a few years back, was I not somebody was injecting shit into bottles of, uh, bottles of pop and things like that as well? Yeah. Was it Tesco? Some Jesus. Of the, the, what, Tesco shops? For poisoning people? Fuck it. That's some seriously sick, twisted individuals out there. In fact, we, we bought a, a, a thingy of Pringles about two months back and we brought them home. And somebody must have opened them and ate so many out of them. And Lou went, oh, have you been? I went, no. Ah, oh, fuck that. Put in it, that goes in the bin. If it's open, yeah. If you get it home and you realise oh, it's open, no, that's it. Don't even fucking in the bin. They're injecting meat and they were going and doing all sorts, weren't they? Uh, shops do that anyway to make the tits look like bigger. It, yeah. the... Well, add water, don't they? But... Yeah. Well, <sighs> I mean, I don't like this conversation. It's terrible. It... It's. I don't want to end it on a dark note. I know, Lisa. So. It's oh, fucking it's, terrible. I mean, it's, big, love, big love to you, Nick, for doing what you're doing. I mean, that's. that's I mean, that, yeah. What a kudos. Going, to it, be honest. It's not that I would just give it to anyone I like didn't know or anything like that. It wasn't like no, a bunch it, of random you know people. This, you, like you know the situation behind yeah. uh, uh, needs and like you've been doing it and you're that lifeline for her. Yeah, we get yeah. that. That that is the that's the key point here. Right, right, right. So that, that's really the point I was trying to make was the whole, uh, the, the woman that oh, yeah. I help out from Mass, you know. Um, and, and the good thing is, like, there are still people, like uh, someone said, I think it was G, said, uh, vaping is the new Underground Railroad. And it's kind of true because there are still people in Mass, juice makers, that are willing to, like, dole out juice, you know, if you need it, need it, need it. Like, he sells 120 mils for, like, 20 bucks or something so it's relatively inexpensive and he's uh he's just trying to help the community out more than anything he's not trying to make a profit on it he's just covering the cost of uh his supplies and his time um but anyway i think seamus right 37 hits it on the head and he, what he's saying is it's so fucking upside down and it is and that's how the whole world seems to be at the minute isn't it? all upside down so just before you do that as well, I don't know if people know, you know, Tom, um, the, the bloke, you know, the old gentleman who, who did all the work. Oh, yeah, bless him. He's uh, unfortunately, he's got COVID and he's, he's, got he's COVID. gone into hospital tonight. So I, I, I wish him, so, I hope, obviously, he's 100 year old and he did so much for the NHS. So big thoughts to him as well. Yep, there we go. Uh, and to end it on a lighter note, let's go ahead and take a look at today's memes of the week. Memes of the week. On there. All <laughs> righty then. So I forget where we left off last week. Uh, I think it was uh, what, about. One? No, we looked at that one. I think. Let's see. 
that one there, I think. Uh, was it this one? I think it's this one. Let's go with that one. I don't know. If you really need to know... Oh, God damn it. If you really need to know... <laughs> there's people <laughs> popping messages. It's a group chat, too. Um, I'll try to... Yeah. Anyways, when a guy tells me he owns a gun, I'm like, uh-oh, what's wrong with your dick? <clears throat> Last time I tried to use my dick on a home intruder, I got in way more trouble. The cops were pretty upset. The intruder needed counseling, and I'm on a list. Just use a gun. And, uh... What the fuck? I mean... Ah. He's not wrong, I guess. Uh, let's see. I was asked who my favorite X-Men character was. Apparently, Bruce Jenner was inappropriate. Oh. <clears throat> Let me read some of these before you... <laughs> uh, yeah. We should probably be filtering these nowadays. Uh, when your daughter's possessed, <laughs> but you still need to touch up that trim paint. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. Accidents are prohibited on this road. Well, it's the safest road on the planet, then, if that's the case. I mean, it must be, obviously. They're prohibited. When uh, we never truly grow up, we just get better swing sets. Oh. Yay. Jay, why are you posting the pictures of your bedroom in this? That's your basement, mate. Yeah, yeah all right. Oh, this is... Uh, oh, look, and that's you on the fucking street, on the swing. Oh, yeah? I'm the WHO? <sighs> This one's a little political. I don't know. Bloomberg. Fuck Bloomberg. Uh, the doctor's office, a gorgeous young redhead, goes into the doctor's office and said her body hurt whenever she touched it. Impossible, says the doctor. Show me. The redhead. Oh, boy. Uh, pushed on her left shoulder and screamed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she pushed her elbow and screamed even more. She pushed her knee and screamed. Likewise, she pushed her ankle and screamed. Everywhere she touched made her scream. Uh, the doctor said, you're not really a redhead, are you? Well, no, she said. I'm actually blonde. I thought so. The do doctor said, your finger is broken. <laughs> oh, my God. Mel Gibson, Jason Momoa, and their son. Oh, God. <laughs> and that pink or whoever it is. Yep. Oh. That's Nick at work. Yeah. I'm afraid it's worse than tendonitis, Mr. Tufnell. It's eleven to de de eleven tinnitus. Wow, I want to I want to hear Aiden say that word. That eleven tinnitus. Um, <sighs> it's actually that obviously that's from Spinal Tap. Yeah, because uh, everything goes up to eleven. It goes up to eleven. Yeah, but this one goes up to eleven. Not in Scotland, it doesn't. Go on. You don't push the buttons hard enough. <laughs> it has to go up to eleven. It's louder. It goes up to eleven. Mm -mm. Oh, there's another there one. You go. <laughs> that there. was one for Lee Armitage, though. Yeah. <laughs> when you're feeling sad, just remember that someone in the world, uh, that somewhere in the world, there's a moron pushing a door that said pull. I think we're. I think everyone's been guilty of that once or twice. I do that all the time. She's sitting. She's sitting downstairs. <laughs> oh, darling, why are you trying to reach the ceiling with your legs? You don't understand these things, Carl. It's yoga, and this is a position called the candle. And does the fact that you just farted have anything to do with it? It's a scented candle. Now go away. <laughs> Speaking of Steve's misses, right there. She's the one to post that one. Next time you're afraid to share ideas, remember someone once said in a meeting. Let's make a film with a tornado full of sharks. Hell yes! Yes. I'm down for that. Radiation research, this one reminds me of Black Ops Cold War with a zombies mode where they split. I'm getting flashbacks now. Sadly, the days of people using proper English are went. <laughs> oh, God, my brain. Uh, my mama said I could be anything when I grow up, so I became a steam engine. Doot, doot. <laughs> toot toot <laughs> when do you want to sell jewelry but don't have a model I like how there's just a model right there perfectly capable but no I how mean, did she ask him though do you have to shave you reckon would you have to shave your butt uh, what, not, not to with mine asking, not a sport sight. asking for a friend <laughs> imagine being drunk as fuck walking into this bathroom no thank you Ooh. It's a public toilet as well, isn't it? Is it? Yeah, you've got a baby changing unit on the fucking wall. Oh. 
fucking oh Amrel and the shit nappy bin. So this is butt crack week apparently on Sabs. Don't you hate it when someone's wearing the same outfit as you? No matter the size of your opponent, always give it your all and he's wrecking the kid. Oh, <laughs> oh well, that was, um, I like that one. <laughs> Boris playing fucking rugby. <laughs> Monkey on the car. Fuck off. When you realize it's the last year, you'll be able to play with Lego. <laughs> <laughs> She's like all pissed off. Why do they even bother? Four and up. It's simple as that. Why do you have to cap it at 99? Billionaires are boring. Your mega mansions with the all white furniture make me sick. How could you have that kind of money and not live in a haunted castle with a moat? Hedges shaped like animals and a groundskeeper with a questionable past. Hell yeah. That's me when I become a billionaire. Why call it blue balls when you could call it a cummy ache? <laughs> <laughs> On Monday, we start Diary Awareness Week. Runs until Friday. <laughs> the key to we en- call it the soul homes. Oh. Yeah. The key to enlightenment is arguing on Facebook. Go forth, my children. <laughs> Great. Don't. Please don't. It's better to have loved and lost than to live with a psycho the rest of your life. Oh. <laughs> my neighbors complained about me groaning too loud having sex in the morning. If they only knew I was just trying to put my socks on. That's not Well done, isn't... Stevie. Yeah, True, story. Not True story. True <laughs> story. <laughs> Fill bowl with gummy bears. Add alcohol of your choice. Place in fridge for one hour. Gummy bears will absorb the alcohol. Eat the gummy bears. Get drunk. Six steps to success. Oh, sensitive content, huh? No, no, skip it. I'm going to skip it. Oh, look. Oh, that was quality. <laughs> okay, can someone explain? I've seen this meme out other places. So it was on the news, like, and it was live on TV, mm. and there was a Zoom call with three people in it, and someone actually zoomed in and noticed that was on one of the person's shelves. Why obviously would you put she, that she's, on your she's shelf? A- She's actually a doctor, so obviously she must be showing how to put condoms on or whatever else. Or yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Then, yeah. then yeah. halfway through a session, she's sat on it and. Yeah. But why, but that, no, that that's bullshit. So putting condoms on, well, why don't they fucking make it normal size? Just then? put it on a banana. Yeah, that thing's yeah. huge. That is put it not on that size. Mm-hmm. We're going to tie a bloody knot in it. Mm-hmm. Several knots. Anyways, that's bullshit. I don't believe it. I'm not a tree <laughs> expert, but it's definitely not hardwood. But bam, 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 bam. When you're horny with only ten dollars. Oh God. <laughs> my sister Facebook took. Hunting. My sister took going to jail really bad. She refuses food, drinks. She spat and swore at her anyone who came near her and started throwing things everywhere. After that, we never played Monopoly again. <laughs> <laughs> so true, so true. Oh boy, that's why I, I never play Monopoly with jewels. I put it in, take it out, taste it, put it back in because my microwave be tripping and my food still be cold. Hell yeah! Oh god, <laughs> <laughs> that's a classic. You're giving birth to cats. That's the one coming out of Mike's ass <laughs> or, or mine after I play video games. <laughs> After uh, a what a ten year old girl asks her mom, "Mummy, how was I born?" The mother smiled and replied, "Once upon a time, me and your daddy decided to plant a wonderful oh, little seed. Quality. Daddy put this it in the earth, and I took care of it every single day. After a while, the seed started to grow more and more leaves, and in a few months, it turned into a beautiful, healthy plant. So we took the plant, dried it, smoked it, and got so high that we forgot to wear a condom." <laughs> <laughs> If you bite it and you die, it's poisonous. If it bites you and you die, it's venomous. And then it, it, it goes from the bottom up. So, oh my God, that's kinky. What if we bite each other and neither of us die? That's correlation, not causation. What if it bites me and someone else dies? It's voodoo. What if it bites itself and I die? That means you're poisonous. Jesus Christ, Nate, learn to read. What if it bites me and it dies? Then you're poisonous. Yeah. Uh... Yeah, carrying on. I love Chinese food as much as the next guy, but you never convinced me a chicken fried this rice. Womp womp. <laughs> hey, look, it's Viking vapor. <laughs> <laughs> that actually kind of looks like his logo. Does, does that mean you lose, John? Is that like if you guess the mask singer, does that mean you lose? I don't know. Never watched it. Uh, hi, all. I have a big hole in my front yard, which will be filled. 
Uh, with concrete tomorrow, if anyone wants to get rid of their husbands, I have room for four big husbands or six small. So basically this entire cast. And Laura I... posted that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whenever I go to a bar, I, sh I, up the wastes. <laughs> I shout out, you cheating whore, whoever turns around and I'm buying drinks for. Oh, here's an interesting piece of uh, <laughs> hardware. Found this nifty little boutique egg separator at Goodwill. I wonder what the little lock is for. <laughs> Jay, you've got one of those, don't you? Oh, yeah. It's in of course. Well, it's it's go past the third ring. Oh. It's Linky Winky. <laughs> <laughs> and we have uh, the quick COVID anal test. Stick a finger up your ass as deep as you can. Negative means it smells like shit. Positive is no smell at all. <laughs> And uh, this is a quick on-the-go snack pack for Aiden. Just in case, <laughs> yeah. you know, you get hungry. They're missing the chips. I mean, that's just convenience right there. How many people work at your con company? About half of them. Uh, hot girls in your area want your cock. You with your cock. No. <laughs> I like that one, too. Legalized marijuana now super pack. It's a bunch of hippies. <laughs> That's actually mm. kind of funny. That's your eight hours to. Work. Oh, did you see the age on that? It said affinity. Oh, see, there you go. Twenty-one to infinity. See, that's all they need to do. Wait, I need my phone. Oh. Natural medicine for guys. Go up to a tree, take a leak. If your pee attracts ants, you got diabetes. If it dries fast, your your sodium is high. If it smells like meat, your cholesterol is high. God damn it! Group chat, go away. I'm going to your stupid game night, family. Uh, if it smells like me, your cholesterol's high. If you forgot to unzip, it's Alzheimer's. If you miss the tree, Parkinson's. If you peed on your shoes, enlarged prostate. If you can't smell it, COVID-19. There we go. I feel like that needed to be updated for this year. God damn it. Uh, <sighs> carburetor. Nice. That is a carburetor, um, right? I don't know carburetor. No, that's an air filter. Air filter. Oh, that's an air filter. Okay, fine. I fail <laughs> at carring. It Shows goes on the carburetor. With my Prius. And uh, I'm on my second guardian angel. My first one quit and is now in therapy. A wife. Because beer is heavy. That looks like Aiden, right? Before the show, you know. <laughs> Tilt the monitor down, would you? Oh. What? The oh. <laughs> <laughs> Bernie oh, meme has so. gone too far. Oh, oh. That's just not even a meme. That's just a cute picture. Yeah, but it's not very good after the one you put up before it. Right. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Not till later. Till I stream on Twitch. Mother-in-law came for dinner and said, why does your dog keep looking at me? I said, it's because you're using his plate. Oh. <coughs> oh. Oh, son of <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I laughed at earlier. <laughs> <laughs> I can't just not look amused. Dogs who look like their owners. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, no, no, get rid of that quick. <laughs> yeah, quick. It'll show what the up. fuck? Uh, that's accurate. That's 100% accurate. Hey, look, it's Phil Margera. What is this? No, get rid of that as well. Ah! And these are... Okay. <laughs> these are old, old, old. Oh, my old. God. Why can't I stop sharing? Jesus. What were those from? Yeah, from, like, two years ago. What? Yeah. When Did we still do memes back then? Uh, okay, well, if you want to see them, go into the memes group. But that's... <laughs> like, my, my, it literally crashed Facebook for some reason. I, it's completely dead. Oh. Because you're not answering all them fucking messages that are coming in. Yeah, right. Seriously. All right, well, I have to go to games night, like, right now, so... What? <sighs> what is it? YouTube chat taking a shit again. Get it together, YouTube. Uh-oh, what happened? Hey, don't work. I say we can stream on Twitch instead. Okay, well, if that's the case, I'm going to stream on Twitch later, and I'll post links to mine and Jay's uh, Twitches. Uh, so you can follow us. Jay's really making a good push now. 
to become, uh, well, to get famous. Yeah. My everything just took a poop, apparently. My Facebook took a dump. I didn't even know those pictures were still out there. There's Jay's, and I'll post mine, and then I we gotta go, because I'm very much late. Uh, Twitch dot TV slash slightly buzz. Big love to everybody in chat for joining us the, this week. You've been absolutely a bunch of stars. Make sure you join us next week. Stevie, thanks so much for joining us, mate. I know you've been up and down, and also for for Jules as well for moderating. It's been absolutely fantastic. I know you two have had a, like a, a nightmare night, but them two are two cuties. Make sure, again, like you join us next week. It is going to be a good giggle. Anybody who wants to join the Fat Club, get involved. Yeah. Please get involved. Post us. your recipes. Put your, what you weigh in. It's, it's absolutely fantastic to be involved in. Yeah, get, and, get and us, Jay, you've not some, even had a whack. Yeah, give us give us some support, and we'll, we'll support you back if you want to join us. That's what it's all about. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not it's, it's not a quick fix. It's going to be a long haul for all of yeah. us. Yeah. So, and and as we've said before, we're not treating it as a diet. We're just treating it as a lifestyle. Lifestyle change, yeah, definitely. And big shout out to Darth man, who's doing well on there, and he's yep. yeah, been fantastic. Yeah. And as, as Aiden says, thanks for joining us, guys, and we'll see you same time, same place next week. Bye. Bye. Uh, press the button, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, Cheers, was... guys. Oh, nice one. All right. See well, ya. Bye. 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 Outro rolling. I don't know how the outro goes anymore. And that's this the flaps. show. No, not yet. Hold on. You got about three more seconds. Damn it, I've done it already. Piss flaps. There it is. <laughs> you funny.